Hey guys, this is Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the rest of my September budget pages, I think. I'm hoping that I have an idea for this, but we're going to talk about this later. So I have my monthly view done. I have my weekly check-in. I have my spending tracker. I have paycheck budget one, and then I have paycheck two kind of started over here. These are paycheck one and two are kind of close together. That's why I did that. Um, I have paycheck three, and then I have this page right here, which I think I'm going to use it for a couple of different things. But one thing that I'm going to use it for is a savings tracker, which I've not done before. So um, I do use caffeinated Kate stickers. I will try and go ahead and leave my September budget part one up there in the corner. So you can see that I've got some print and cut stickers from caffeinated Kate's Etsy shop. She has two different Etsy shops, one for print and cut and one for um, already printed stickers that she can mail to you. So I am sorry if you guys are bothered by the sound of my dryer in the background. If you have followed my channel for any length of time, you know that tomorrow I am leaving for Chicago to bring my 17 year old there for the winter. Like that's what he likes to tell people. He's going there to play hockey. So I'm trying to get some last minute laundry done. I still haven't packed a thing. We leave tomorrow afternoon, but it's all good because it's going to happen. All right, so right now we're just putting most of our extra income after we pay all of our bills to savings um, for a few reasons, one of which is we're moving next year. Another of which is we have to make a couple of substantial payments to the hockey team that my son is playing for. And a third reason I guess would be that we need to build our savings back up for, you know, a couple of different reasons. So most of our extra money is going, we do put some towards debt, but right now most of it's going to savings. So I kind of just want to have a little bit of an idea of how much we're putting in savings each month. Now I would be able to I'm just going to go ahead and probably put this right here. I would be able to go back and check um, after, you know, I could go through and look at my weekly paycheck budgets and see what we put in savings. But I thought it might be a better idea to have a chart right here so it would make it easier for me to look. So um, we do put our savings in a different account. We don't leave it in the general fund like my husband likes to call it because it's too easy to spend it if it's just sitting there. So we put it in a different account that my husband, um, I currently don't have access to it. That is how we have, well, I mean, I could if I had to, like, I know how I can get into it if I need to, but for the most part, I don't ever need to. If I need money transferred to the general fund for whatever reason, then I just go ahead and let my husband know and he will just transfer it for me. We've done it like that for quite a while now and it works just fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the second thing that I want to track right here is just some business expenses. Both my husband and I kind of have our own um, YouTube businesses and mine is more than, um, I, I have a couple of different things going on. So we do often have business expenses and I'm just going to track it right here. I don't have any special stickers or anything for that right now. So I'm not exactly sure what that will look like, but I'll figure that out at some point. The next thing I'm going to set up is my sinking funds page. I've told you guys before, if you've watched any of my budget videos, that we are still working on sinking funds. Um, every payday, I'm like, oh, maybe this will be the, the payday where we really start putting money in our sinking funds. 
um, and it hasn't happened yet. And I, I think I just want to just start coming up with like five or six different sinking funds and just putting like $10 every payday in them just so that we can have them started. And it obviously wouldn't like be like a permanent amount because $10 does not go very far for most sinking funds for sure. But I think that would at least get us into the habit of putting money into the sinking funds, which is, you know, half the battle. It's just making yourself do it and getting into that habit. So we do have a few, like I usually categorize like pet expenses as a sinking fund. And then we'll have like beauty, car maintenance, um, I can't think of any others right this very second that I'll turn this over this way I think that we have used but Christmas would be one um, there's others clothing so the nice thing about having sinking funds and tracking them this way is I can't seem to Hold this ruler in a way that works for me right this very second anyways the nice thing about tracking my sinking funds this way is it's very easy to look back and see what we spent on clothing for the year or on beauty for the year or what have you because I document all of those expenses over here where sinking funds are so I'm hoping that that will make it easier when we come to the 2020 budget is I can kind of um, add those up and figure out, okay, realistically, this is how much money we spent on beauty last year. So maybe we need to, um, you know, this is how much money we need to be putting away every month. I'm thinking that will be really helpful. That's my plan anyways. So hopefully it works out like that. Okay. So this page that I'm doing right here will be my transaction log. And this is where I document what we spend from sinking funds. So like even if we don't actually, like if we don't, well, let's see, how do I want to say this here? So if I go to Old Navy and I spend money on clothing for Liberty and Benjamin, which if I'm actually buying clothing in a store, that's primarily where their clothes come from because we do not have a lot of shopping options here in interior Alaska. So Fred Meyer or Old Navy is pretty much where their clothes come from, except we do have American Eagle, but neither of my kids really shop at American Eagle. So I don't know why they just don't. So anyways, I will notate that on this transaction log page. I'm going to go ahead and show you what August sinking funds looked like. So we also had market animals as a sinking fund. I need to go ahead and update this a little bit. Um, and market animals, if you're new to my channel, probably sounds like a weird term, except my kids um, are 4-H kids and they raised animals that they sold at the livestock auction at the fair. So I put market animals over here because I wanted to be able to keep track of how much we spent on market animals for their record books. So if somebody gets a haircut, it goes over here. If we buy clothing, it goes over here. Pet expenses, it goes over here because those are the types of expenses that I want to be able to keep track of. They're kind of the regular expenses. So I know how much we're spending on those each year to give me a good gauge of how much we need to be setting aside on a monthly basis for next year. So that is the plan anyways. I think that it will work out just fine. I just need to go ahead and update some totals and whatnot. But for the most part, I'm pretty good about writing those expenses in there. So it should be helpful come January or even December, whenever it is that my husband sit down and do our new budget. We, we're going to do things a little bit differently. which I don't, we'll see how it works, but I guess we're going to try. All right, so let me just draw in my lines here. I don't even know how I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I can like hardly believe that the time has finally come when I'm going to take my boy 
to Chicago and I'm not gonna see him again until Christmas time. He's, and I know people do that all the time, but he's only 17. So I wasn't ready for that, but it's gonna be fine, right? Okay, next page is Debt Tracker. I feel like I have a sticker left. I guess not, that goes to something else. Okay, Debt Tracker. So I do try and keep track of our debt balances. Whoops, I guess I should have put that one over here. Oh well, that's fine. Anyways, I do try and keep track of our debt balances. We have one credit card that we pay a couple hundred dollars a month on. We don't have that credit card anymore, it's closed. But it's going to be paid off, I think, in like three months, which is super exciting. And then we are going to roll that one, that payment that we are currently paying, over onto the next credit card. So I kind of finally feel like we're starting to, like we're, and plus we're almost done paying the orthodontist, which is a substantial amount of money. So we are finally at the point where we're starting to make some snowball progress, which is super exciting. Let's see. I just need to count how many spots I need. 16. So anyways, finally starting to make some debt-free progress, like some debt snowball progress. Debt-free is the goal. It's just taking us a little while to get there, which I know we're no different than anybody else. And I also do know that we could get there faster if we wanted to. We just aren't quite there yet. Maybe after we move, we'll be able to hit, hit it with more of a gazelle intensity, even though I'm hoping we can have a good portion of it knocked out by then. I think we can, it just takes a lot of discipline and hard work. All right, so here's my chart for my debt tracker. And then the only other thing I'm gonna do is Actually, I might as well just go ahead and use these. I have a couple pieces of thin washi left. So I'm going to put this one right here. And then this will be the debt snowball. All right, I do think that's it. I don't know what I'm gonna put on this page yet, but I'm gonna leave it in there for right now because this, if I do October's budget, the same way I did September's budget, this will be my actual monthly budget. So let me go back. Okay, so here we have September's budget. Then I have my dashboard pages, my monthly view, weekly check-in, Spending tracker, paycheck budget number one, two, three, savings tracker, spot for business expenses, sinking funds, transaction log, debt tracker, and debt snowball. It was a really good idea for me to move my deluxe monthly coiled planner into this binder because you can see that I needed some extra additional pages. <clears throat> so I am happy that I was able to do that. Okay, so I spent a little bit of time last night trying to figure out what I was going to use these pages for. Because in August, I didn't use them. So I actually glued them together last night so that I could just get rid of them. Because I'm like, okay, if I'm not using them, I just, actually I didn't glue them together, I used double-sided tape. But I was like, I just need to get rid of them. So... I have a couple of ideas. 
So I want to sell some items. I mean, we need to start decluttering and get, getting rid of some things. So I want to keep track of items sold. So I'll list them here. This section will be for focus reimbursement items. So I'm just going to leave these sticky notes here right now because I'd like to try and come up with something to cover those titles up to make it work better for me. So what this means is we have a homeschool program um, that is funded by the state. That means that they kind of have their nose in our business, but for the most part, it's okay. It hasn't, it's never been a problem. And we get a certain amount of money every year that we get to use for homeschool, you know, curriculum or activities or what have you. So my son is taking a college class. Actually, he's taking a couple. Um, he's taking one here at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. And it's an online class. So yesterday when we purchased his book, I can turn that in for reimbursement. And they'll actually pay for his class up at UAF too. So I need a place where I can keep track of those. Like, let's see, what are some things that I normally would submit for reimbursement? Um, okay, so Liberty is going to be taking math class at the private school. I can get reimbursed for that. I can get reimbursed for printer ink. They'll even pay for my internet. Now, obviously, we have a cap. We only have a certain amount of allotment per year per student. But all of those things I can keep track of. And then once a month or however I want to do it, turn in my reimbursement request, and then I'll get that money back. So here I'm going to put some kind of financial quote. So if you guys have some kind of um, really good motivating financial quote that I could look at to help keep me motivated, please do share in the comments down below. That would be great. So over here, I'm going to use this as like a goal tracker. So kind of what I'm thinking is I would like to, let's say, have 10 no spend days for the month. So let me count something here. So... Okay, so I think that's gonna work. So I want to have like some kind of chart that I can color in. So let's see, whoops, oh bummer. That's that stupid thing right there. I'm not going to let me color on it. Or if I do, it will probably rub right off. Rats. Well, we're going to go with it. So I want to make some kind of, let's see how this works. I'm basically just winging it. Okay, so... All right, I think this will work right here. So let me show you, well, I guess let me explain to you what I'm intending this to be. So if I wanna have 10, I should have planned this out a little bit better, but it doesn't necessarily have to be pretty. So let's actually start, yeah, let's start with, with 10, no spend days. And then each one I think would be two sections. All 
I haven't used a lot of dot grid, so I'm just not exactly sure how I'm going to love it. But I know most people love the dot grid, so maybe it will grow on me. All right, so there's that. I need to come up with some type of goal tracker title as well. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make it the same way. I want to sell four household items. So one, two, yeah. So one, two, three, four. So there's that one. And the next one is I want to save $100 from cash envelopes. And basically what I mean by that is, I don't know if you guys watch The Budget Mom. I don't watch her on YouTube, but I follow her on Instagram. And she's extremely motivating. So there's that. Let me know if you guys have any ideas about what my fourth goal could be. Maybe I'll do it to do my weekly check-ins every week. That would work. I just realized I did five. My goal is to sell four household items and I left five spots. That is okay. So there's that. And then over here, I'm going to do some kind of something with cash envelopes. I haven't figured that out yet, but I feel pretty good about having at least some kind of idea about what I want to use this for. Um, I still have quite a bit of work to do in figuring it out, but this is a good start. So here is my monthly budget. I'll just give you guys a quick flip through again. Let me know how you guys are using this if you have any better ideas. Have my monthly, weekly check-in, spending tracker, paycheck one and two, paycheck three, savings tracker, sinking funds, transaction log, debt tracker, debt snowball, then we are on to the next month. So I think I'm pretty much ready for the month. Not too much left to take care of, which I am super happy about. I feel like I have a good start on everything. So here's hoping for a successful month. So if you guys are new to my channel and you are not subscribers, please do hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload future content. All of this stuff that I used, my binder, my planner, all of that good stuff, even my stickers along with a promo code for Caffeinated Kate, all of those are linked down below. Now, my Erin Condren links are affiliate links, so just know that it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give me a little bit of a kickback to support my channel, which I really appreciate. And then also, if you are new to Erin Condren and you want to try out some of her products, there is a link that you can click for a $10 coupon. It will be emailed to you, and then you can go ahead and place your order. And that's all I have for tonight, so thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.